Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. And thanks to uh, Sir Michael Kodori and his great team of organizers, we're really great to be back at Koya Motorsports Gathering since last year. And last year, we have brought this Code 57, and its production version sits beside me. And this is fully street legal and registered, and of course sold to the owner. We borrowed this car from the owner. And we are right now building number two, number three, number four car in Japan in our in-house Yamagata factory. And after we finish the fifth car, which in case you are interested, we still have a last slot open for fifth car. And the, uh, after we completely finish the uh, five cars of production, we're going to demolish master model, female molds, and throw away the math data so there is no way we can build the sixth car. This is the way it goes that we do with one of cars, and then we move on to the new project. Speaking of new project, this year we have brought this code fifth, code, excuse me, code zero that sits beside me on the left side, my left side, and your right side. I'm going to unveil a few minutes. Uh, let me remind you that Kenokuyama Design is a well-funded independent design company, and we don't have to build cars for a living, but we do for pleasure. Pleasure of sharing this experience with great clients, and sharing actually the great pleasure of building sheer beauty that remains in the history of work. Our clients actually walk through not just buying their finished car, but walk through from choosing sketches and working on scale models, building full-size model, and until we do the prototype and running experience for the first time, this is a total car experience, and our clients enjoy it. So, uh, so much for my BS, and let's unveil the car and let me talk about it, please. asking for it. <laughs> um, Code Zero is a dream car. If you remember the era between 1968 and 1971, within those four years, there are fantastic series of dream cars. There are many supercars here, but I think people are about to receive this dream back again with the modern technology. Dream cars as, for example, Lancia Stratos Zero, Alfa Romeo Carabo, and Lamborghini Countach and those cars made me a car designer so I do believe that we do have obligation of creating future heritage for our children so that there will be quail in Concorso Italiano and in Pebble Beach in 50 years from now it is I believe our obligation I think this is a result of that dream creation and I'd rather not talk about details and have you come back to us after this conference is over, but let me just go over just a little details and the basics. If you remember the era of retractable headlights, some of those cars are here. That was the identity icon of sports cars. And nowadays, LED headlights are getting so small that we widely integrated this smaller LED new generation headlights into this vertical mold and this dry carbon fiber part that continues through the nodes the side of the car as the A pillar and continues to the rear of the car as a one motion line. One motion line that is simple and no superficial gadgets and unnecessary uh, styling uh, uh, character lines at all. And among that, the only one strong design statement on the body side is just the flying buttress as I designed nine, uh, 599 Ferrari. This flying buttress guides the air into the side radiator and takes the air from the top and guides the air to the rear spoiler. And when you open the door, let me open the door. You can see the accent green all over the car inside. When doors are closed, you don't see anything. But when you see inside, you can see actually this leather, I call disco silver leather. And some green accents all over the car, including when you come to the back later, there is a uh, radiator fan that sits rear of the car that sucks the air from the car in the rear. And those six fans, four side and the two in the back, are painted also in green as well. In between radiator fans, green radiator fans, there is a uh, 
a shiny aluminum panel that is made of actually billet aluminum piece, one piece of aluminum. We milled from inside and outside that became three millimeter thickness and it is part of the muffler. It is the uh, heat radiation panel. So I, if I were you, I wouldn't touch the panel when engines are on. It actually generates the heat and the uh, radiates the other heat in the back directly to the rear. So overall, this Code Zero is a very, I hope, strong and a bold statement, quite simple. The simplicity, I think we we uh, uh, want nowadays in the car design is back here. Um, just like Co57, this car is not going to be built in the five. If I manage to find four more clients that I'd like to work with, then again, that's going to be the end of our production of five cars of this one at the most. Then after that, we move on to the next project. We already started working on the next project. We'll be back with a new project next year again. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for our press conference. And thank you so much for coming to Ken Okuyama. And uh, now we're going to have, a, I believe, a photo session after this. Thank you very much. Please enjoy the California sound and Monterey Kawi. Thank you.